Part 6 Finally, after all of that, the time has come to start on the shooting system. This is a lot of information, so make sure you pay attention. First, reset your scene and go to the camera rig. Scope into it and open the microchip on the top cube. Next, place down a microchip, open it, and place a laser scope inside of it. This laser scope will determine how far the player will be able to shoot the projectile before it destroys itself. Go to the labels section in the laser scope and find detection mode. We're going to go into test mode to center the ball from the laser scope with the reticle. Before going into test mode, make sure your scene is paused. Now, while in test mode, possess your puppet and press your aim button. You see where the laser scope is? We want that to be right in the middle of the reticle. So, exit test mode and move the laser scope to the position of the reticle. As you see, I'm starting out by moving the laser scope to the right. I'm also using the precise move tool for easier handling. Now, let me go back into test mode and try this out. This is off. So now, I have to adjust the laser scope to be closer to the reticle. Still not quite there yet. This will take several tries before I get it. As you see, the reticle is now in line with the ball from the laser scope. But we're not done yet. However, we'll come back to this soon once we get our projectile. Before we make our projectile, we first need to see if our shooting will be accurate. Reset your scene and go into sculpt mode. You'll want to make a pretty long wall. We're going to build a wall. It's going to be built. We're going to build the wall. We have no choice. We have no choice. We're going to build the wall, folks. We're going to build the wall. Build that 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 wall! Build that wall! Build th This wall will be used for testing our shooting. If you can't make a wall, there are plenty in the Dreamiverse for you to choose from. Now, go into sculpt mode and make a square, but don't adjust the size. After making the square, open the sculpture menu and adjust the settings. You want to turn off collidable Move the sliders to zero, turn on ignore gravity, set imp interaction to ignore, and set physics cost to low. We eventually want to make the square invisible, but not at the moment. Close the menu and go to the camera microchip. Place an emitter and open it. Now, most of these sliders will be completely up to you. The ones you will need to adjust are as follows. Set emit speed to zero. That's it. <laughs> the rest is up to you. This puppet will shoot once. I'm going to set the time between emits to zero. And I'll keep the max emitted at once to 20. Let's go to the cursor on the top of the menu and press it to select the object we want to emit. We want to choose the square we just made. After doing that, go to the Inputs and Outputs section and find Scene Space Transform. This is where we'll attach the laser scope's hit position output. So, go to the camera rig, open the laser scope, and go to the Hit Detail Output section. Simply connect the hit position to the Scene Space Transform. Now, we need a button to press to emit the object. The button you choose will be up to you. I'm going to use R2. 
I'm going to use a calculator again so I can get a full signal even when lightly pressing the trigger. Just like L2. When you're done, it'll be time to test this in play mode. Uh-oh, nothing's happening. Thankfully, the solution is simple. Go into edit mode again and reset the scene. Go to your camera rig and open the laser scope. Ah, there's the problem. It's too short. It's not detecting anything. We can make it longer by going to range and increasing it. Make it however long you'd like. I'm going to make it eight meters long. Now let's test this again. Okay, the shot is connecting, but it's not shooting in the right spot. Once again, easy fix. As you see, the laser scope is pointing upwards as we aim. We want it to point straight. How do we determine if it's straight? Well, the key is to only have the ball from the laser scope visible when you aim. You don't want the actual line and arrow to show. To fix this, I strongly recommend turning on precise move tool so that you don't affect the shooting accuracy. I'm going to move the arrow down until I only see the ball. You may have to do this several times to get it right. It now looks like only the ball is visible. Time to test this in play mode. It's almost right. Even if it seems right, you still might have to tweak the position until the box hits the middle of the reticle. This is one of the few things about this process that may take some time. Now that I've adjusted this a few times, let's go into play mode once again to test it out. Success! No matter where we shoot, as long as we hit something, the cube will emit at the hit position of the laser scope. And the laser scope matches the center of the reticle. You see how we're able to shoot at the wall even though we're too close? We need to fix that. All we have to do is move the laser scope forward. I like to move it quite far from the rig. This way, we don't appear to be doing magic with projectiles. When we do this, we'll have to adjust the position of the laser scope once again to be in front of the reticle. But that shouldn't be a problem. Once you're satisfied, you're done. At least until the next part. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments section. I hope to see you in the next one.